The Atlanta Braves look to avoid elimination against the San Diego Padres on Wednesday night. We'll break it down for you when we have a money-making opportunity on a total. I'm Steve Seagrave from SportsMemo.com. I have a killer 30-day all-access promo code to share with you guys towards the end of the video. Let us know in the comment section who you like tonight in the MLB. Subscribe to the Wager Talk channel if you haven't already. And if you guys enjoy this content, give me a big thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. So uh, San Diego prevailed last night. They blanked the Braves 4-0. The big bomb came in the first inning, actually, with a Tatis two-run homer. And, uh, we cashed with clients on that one. We had a split bet with the majority of the money going on the money line with a small sprinkle on the run line. So happy about that and look to keep that uh, momentum rolling into today. Atlanta at San Diego again. First pitch, 8.30 p.m. Eastern from Petco Park. And uh, basically, we got a, close to a pick in this one. San Diego minus 118. Braves minus 102. Low total. It's down to 6.5 and now. And uh, rightfully so. We have two really solid pitchers going toe-to-toe. -to -toe. The lefty, Max Freed, going for the Braves. And we got Musgrove, the right-hander, going for the Friars. So Musgrove's 6-5 on the year with a 3.88 ERA. He's coming off a solid start against the Dodgers. Held him to two earned runs against six and a third's innings. And he's been really spot on in September. 2-5-1 ERA across 28 and two-thirds innings. So a good sample size there. And he has done a great job shutting down the current Atlanta hitters. They're only batting 241 against them. They don't have a single home run across 83 at-bats. So Musgrove has done a great job shutting down uh, the Braves sluggers. On the other side, we've got the lefty. Max Freed, 11 and 10 on the year, three and a quarter. ERA, and he is coming off a brilliant start. He stepped up when the Braves needed him to against the Royals. Nearly a complete game of scoreless uh, work in that one, eight and two thirds in his last start of scoreless baseball. And he's been even better. These guys have both been really good in September. Freed's been even better than Musgrove, though, a 2.14 ERA across 30, uh, 33 and two thirds innings in September. So he's been brilliant uh, over the last month. And he's done a solid job. He's not quite as good as Musgrove against the opposing lineup. But the Padres are only are hitting 266 against him. So meet, uh, middle of the road. Uh, only one home run, though, across 94 at-bats. And that home run came from Machado. But he's 1 for 16 uh, against Freed. So he did get him one time. But other than that, uh, Freed has shut him down. I'm looking at an under in this game, but I really can't trust this. I can trust the Padres' bullpen. They've been really good. Uh, it's one of the bullpens I really like to back in the MLB nowadays. But this Braves' bullpen, they are solid, but they're still. I still feel like coming off of that doubleheader and not having Chris Sale in this series has sent them into a little bit of a, a tailspin. I do think, though, that both starters have some success. Um, I like the Padres' bats better against right-handed pitching if you look at the last 30 days they're 22nd in wrc plus 26th in on base percentage against lefties it's lefties that they struggle with and this braves lineup that they've been better a little bit recently but they've struggled all year long obviously dealing with a lot of injuries they have gotten some guys back uh, but we saw them not able to score a single run last night against the padres i think it's low scoring early Official play for the video. I'm going to go under three and a half in the first five innings at minus 115. Like I said, we'll just keep the bullpens out of it. Both starters have had a solid track records against the opposing lineups, and they're both in very good form as we uh, as we went over earlier. So under three and a half for the first five will be our official play. I told you guys about that promo code. It's Sport30. Gets you guys 30 days of all access, every sport, and you get $50 off if you use that code. Sport30 breaks it down to less than $6 per day, and we are coming into basically the busiest sporting month of the season. I mean, we've got MLB playoffs, WNBA playoffs, NHL and uh, NBA right around the corner. Uh, we had a great success in the playoffs in both of those sports, especially the NBA, obviously NFL in full swing now. College football player of the week, so plays galore. I can't imagine not having a play on any given day, and I do have an MLB play locked and loaded for tonight. 
We're up 20 units in the last 30 days in the MLB, so I'd encourage you guys to go check that out. There's always a link to my action in the pinned comment to my sports memo page. And use that code SPORT30. Gets you $50 off a 30-day all-access pass for all sports. It includes 5% plays, so you get great value there. And like I said, it's less than $6 per day on that one. Uh, I always have free plays posted at Sports Memo, as well as over at Twitter at Steve's Book 22 If you guys enjoyed this video, hit that like button for me, and I'll see you tomorrow. Same series if we get a Game 3. We'll see you tonight. Good luck, guys.